back up. Flashpoint goes in, allow. Does finally find him. Skun is going to be, tra be trading that one back. One for one exchange thus far. As 10x tries to play around this corner. He's got his work cut out for him though. Spectre, be right for him. Keone will find this little headshot. You get that elimination. Last pack to stop anybody pushing forward, but Suggest just going to be holding here. Trying to keep him contained in the U-Haul. Now teleport is going to be used. Everybody's shifting over. Solo's still lurking, though. He's going to try to catch them off guard, but Yanni comes up with a second. Very nicely done, and now the rotations can come through. They know they're moved up into Hookah. Very well may just be looking at this round win for DFR. This is great patience from DFR. Yanni does not bite on that teleport at all. He knows, they've done their homework, that Solo will remain on one opposite end of the map or the other when the rotation comes through for new turn from time to time and he's ready for it and he's sitting there just uh, holding his angle doing a great job dubu's turn uh, to try to hold an angle oh Ooh, he takes some damage and suggests just pops him in the face with yep. that vandal really good checking just got a little suspicious rocket comes out that's going to be bing su saying good night the two members rotating over hp advantage now in the hands for new turn as they look to defend this spike it's gonna unfortunately just Unable to offer up any healing here for himself. Guiding light, drawn out, throws it, gets a blind, but parry, sprays him down. Tailwind into the cloud burst. Yanni will find a third. Now he's got a 1v1 versus Suggest. Phantom v Vandal. He's gonna go up top, and the knives come out! Gets the kill. So that's what we're looking for from this player. Know that this is present on the point. Cloud gets himself in, just jumping over top of him. But Dumo does manage to come up with 10x, trading it back. He peeks out the window, though. Gets rid of the opposition. When they open up the sun, just look at this guy as best as possible. Suggest. Yeah, had to move out of that position, but he's not given the opportunity. Gunny finds two. Just like that. Very winnable for the side of the FR. Gunny just comes up with two, uh, you know, another two oh. kills. Has three on the round. Solo, he doesn't realize. Oh, he did <laughs> I'm stunned now. Just absolutely phenomenal right now. Finally, Solo's gonna shut him down and grab that Phantom. Bingsu though, waiting for Allow, takes him down with ease. Yeah, and then it's just Solo left. Spike in hand, has to kill off the turret. So they know exactly where he's at. I mean, Dubu, he could just continue to spam this out. Oh, if he shot up, oh, he's just barely off. I was, I was like, his head is right there! It's like pop out of the shadows very slowly. <laughs> that was so bad. Like Hun's trying to stave off the rest of the squad that's moving up the short. Allow going to be taken out. 10x gone as well. Suggest trades one, but Skuda right now gets the ace. A real problem if Hyunny can get another opening pick. Uh, he's going to ignore the boom bot and get Solo straight away from the rocket, which I think is pretty smart if you can get one. But I mean, Hyunny is nuts. The read right now from DFR is perfect. Everybody's already started rotating over. You can see the lurk. Coming in from Dubu, he's just going to be chilling out in the spawn, waiting for Perry, because he knows that he's going to be rotating in that direction. Oh. The jump shot from Skuna finishes off 10x, and yeah, Back Perry, and he's just rotating around the map so perfectly. Finds suggests, tries to jump up over top. Does to get stunned, but I mean, Huns with the paint shells. Gets an elimination, is allow falls. It's going to be the only casualty thus far, but Yanni finds another one. Falls out the bow for just a moment. Now they're in onto the spike, Perry. Can he do anything at all? No, he's so far up short. He just has to let things do. They'll clear one. Nanoswarms come out, and that's going to be 10x getting dropped. In onto the side, Perry does manage to find Skuna. BTPing now into the corner. Spike is still down in Hookah, I believe. So, yeah, they have to jump. There you go. Oh, boy. Got it. Perry's not ready for it. Yanni just constantly in prime position. Spike going to be planted by Allow, and suddenly it's a 2v4. Not complying through, suggest drops, but Bingsu's on the flank, has the kill, they push the corner. Just handing another charge to Bingsu so he can try to get that next. Oh, okay. Just it's too scary for them, they need to win this round, so they're just gonna try to play the side, maybe try to play a little bit of post plant. Huns pulling back, as he has the rocket, but he does manage to find Lau. A little bit of a look of disbelief there as Bingsu goes pressing forward, finds Solo, 10x, Perry suggests they are all dead. The lockout will be used in celebration as the spike gets diffused with plenty of time to spare. Do you look forward into the future of this series and start getting even more worried? Because if this is this close, or if they lose this map, then they go to Ice Over here a little bit faster. Connects just tucked away. Huns 
face. Still very low HP, but still gets that headshot kill. On a suggest. Start to check for a little bit. Yanni just snaps onto Allow's face with that frenzy. Finds one, finds another as 10x will get dropped. He and Bingsu versus Solo and Parry, but Solo will take down the low HP Killjoy. Just needs to do a little bit more, and he somehow wins that? What's he doing? I don't know. He was trying to fake. I think he's trying to fake that he was going up over the crate. Yeah, suspecting that Parry is going to be inside the tube, and Yanni clutches Solo. it! Coming through the teleporter, but they actually don't get the pinch in on the Huns, and he does manage to make that a one-for-one. One. Now Solo's gonna be eliminated. Hyuni comes in, allow, turn it away for just a moment. Does get eliminated. Can't quite string it together, but Skuna is there to pick up the pieces. Finishes off parry, and now it is just 10x on his lonesome. Moves up into U-Haul. As the slow creep comes in from Bingsu. Oh, 10x didn't notice him. Gets Ooh, the dink, but because I was just never in a million Ooh. years. Oh, careful. That oh allow. Oh, but he gets taken down by Honey again. Yep. Trades it out. Solo cannot make it into the teleporter. That's now an operator on the ground in there if they want to try to pick it up at the end of the round and you know maybe just play it on attack. Perry can't land the shots. And this is looking like DFR will be able to lock in a 12th round and guarantee themselves at least overtime. But at this point, with the way the things are going for new turn, I don't think they're gonna make it that far. Tenex, however, is trying to fight back. Drone comes in, Hyuni. Thought maybe he would just go for the push. Just was there to back him up, though. So they play it out a little bit more patiently, but Bingsu again, just lurking in from behind. It seems like nobody is ready for this. Nobody is looking over towards spawn. They are instead just focusing forward, but Hyuni is on the hunt for an AC watch. This is, I mean, he's having the round of a life. Solo's dead. Okay, Solo's oh my God. dead. It, it seems like it's over. This is not good. I mean, everybody was over on A. You only have 10x in the corner on elbow. He's got to play KG here. He cannot fall. Boombot instantly spots, instantly gets cleared, allowed, dead. Can't get anything done with the Blade Storm. Spikes now being planted. 3v5 for the retake. There's a lockdown. There is no hunt. There's Fury. Lockdown now going to be coming in. They have to pull out of elbow, so 10x is going to have to reposition. Parry is going to have to wait. 10x is dead. Suggest is dead. It's just Parry with a sheriff and a dream, but this is just very quickly turning into an absolute nightmare. They go pushing out, Huns will get dumped, but Hyuni gets the finish. 13 to six on new turns, map pick a bind, and DFR show up to play. They crush them. Oh, this was just a masterclass. I mean, I have, I had, I had hopes that DFR would give new turn a run for their money, but this is just incredible. 449 is where that ACM. All right, well, into the action we go. We can stop the podcast. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to our Patreon and all that good stuff. Yeah. Dubu up top, managed to find 10x. Will be a one for one, but Dubu looking to take the advantage. Has to go for the reload. Falls a little bit low and will be. Yeah, they know where Solo is. They're pretty sure about Suggest's position. The Hawk is going to catch Solo peeking. Sees the cross. Suggest has to throw in point blank. Whoa. Isn't going to get it. Now, but Perry. Perry is trying to drag this one back. The reload from Skuna, but Perry, he tries to retreat. Closer. Getting it to the side. The Seekers will go out. He's gonna, getting blinded. He's managed to clear it, but 10x just presses forward straight into the smoke. Even with the paranoia, comes up with the kill. Gonna in the back. Finds two. Low HP. And oh no! Into the snake Steps bite. Steps through the cloud. Gets taken to one, and the snake bite will finish him off. And a bit of an unfortunate moment there for him as Allow will be rezzed back into the fray. Bing Su. Bing up top. Playing along the rafters, but knows that he's inevitably going to have to go into oh, the poison so cloud. Smart. Look at this! Look at this angle he can find from back there. Wow! Did he not notice? Hello. Thinks he was on an Odin? for just a moment, and Hans does indeed have an Odin. Wow! We'll find him. Six HP remaining, though. Thinks who finds the kill. One v two, but just because of this Viper's Pit, seems like it's just not going to be able to happen. So he will just pull out, keep the Phantom in hand. The rest of New Turn now going to exit, and that's going to be 3 1. <laughs> Just love for you can tell the moment that New Turn exits the fight. Okay. Allow. Tagged up. Hans just chilling in the back. Sound. And yeah, will get finished off. Allow finding two now, breaking open 
this approach at green. Push through, and hello, Solo, just getting in behind Bing Su. Did Bing Su not put up the Tetris wall in two? I suppose not. Oh, Hyuni, really nice headshot. Whoa! Gets another one, but allow. We'll cut him down. A boiler here. Oh, sees it. Spotted for a second, but doesn't manage to get that kill. Paranoid does come out and then just boosts straight into his face. <laughs> oh, man. I love the that. boldness of the play. Had he had any backup at all, which they did not scout, that could have been absolutely horrific for them, but they still are protected. Hyuni cannot exit his parry. Crept his way You're into absolutely right. It is. It does have to be a save. Hun says the Odin. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, okay, so, whoa. Oh, okay. Okay, long range Odin win for Huns there. The Odin is just such an incredible gun. Nerf this gun, please. Yeah. I'm with you on that. All right. Well, parry. And it's going to be a Lao. Uh, his turn for that operator. Huns again. Oh, he Ooh. gets a headshot on a Lao with the Marshal. Great hit from him. Gun obviously not going to be recoverable, though, so won't be able to get a nice little upgrade, but... Still, Huns showing some very nice accuracy as Hyoni gets the spot on the solo. See how he wants to play this out, peeks the corner. It's a tap in, gets his head. Massive pick off now, two members down. Huns trying to line it up, barely makes it back behind Yellow, but he did get the hit on the 10X. Heels have to be burned. So he just tries to keep them all topped up. Here comes the pit, and yeah, Hun Huns just needs to get the hell in there. Keep this thing sustained and try to stave them off. Seeker's now going to come rolling through. A little bit of health back for 10X off that Devour, but uh, this is really important for Huns that he was able to stay alive here and get his alt up. This is buying a ton of time for them to get into positions, to wait around the corners. You can see Dubu's already nestled in by the snowman. See what 10X can do. Looks like he wants to clear around the back. Will manage to find one. He'll now coming in. Can get topped up. Just, just, oh, just out of line of sight is this Viper. Gonna have to push in. I'm surprised they don't even just try to, you know, get a wall bang on the box. Oh, spots him and hunts oh. that close. Oh. Gets the shot. Beautifully done. Suggest now just racing, trying to get the spike planted for that extra money, but it's not gonna happen. Gonna Staying some... alive, being able to get his Viper Pit up, wins that round, and oh here comes boy. Hyuni with the Operator. Yep, here we go, 10x dead. Hyuni just knows where to peek at the start of every single round. His awareness is it, just looking unparalleled. Huns does get dropped, though. Harry finds one. Seekers are out from Suggest yet again. Around looking to track down members of DFR. We'll identify that there's at least one in the kitchen, but Yanni, he peeks over, down hall, find Suggest. Harry now on the approach, but there's an Odin waiting for him in the kitchen. People gets rid of one, allow, down to 29 HP with a couple knives left. 2v4. Try to defend this spike, wall's gonna be broken. Skuna on the approach. Solo just hiding in the corner, but Bingsu, he's privy to this, he's not gonna get fooled. They're just sticking this. He doesn't have the angle. He drops down. He's trying to spam through, but the Odin spams just a little bit better. Uh, but this time it is a very different uh, maneuver here as they come under tube instead, and 10x going to win that against Bingsu. Yeah, Bingsu dropping, making some noise. Does get spotted in the catch. Dubu on that cross, just peeking. Backside of the site. 10x, great <laughs> shot. He's around in the corner fearlessly. Gets that hidden. Seems like new turn starting to up the pace, starting to become a little bit more confident in these plays. Still though, Skuna and Hyuni alive, but they will be playing back in all likelihood. Skuna does find one, but it's taken to a third of his HP. So it seems like the call for the save will be coming through. It's looking for the hit. Hyuni will find 10x. Hyuni knows it. Hyuni knows something's coming, and he's going to look right down into Perry. I'm not even sure Perry it got a... Maybe he got a bullet off there. I'm not, I don't know, but Hyuni still... Is just his IQ is through the roof. I mean, he uh, started to get in the groove of things. Double Lear is out. Allow goes on the push. The blind is going to be good. They find Scoon up. Very nicely done. Jeez, Louise, he is just so oh. smart. Dubu with a great shot with the Vandal. Just starts spraying in there. Catches a little bit of solo, even. Just a little bit of damage. Pops himself back up. Tony comes through, tries to get the Blade Storm out on the 10X, but doesn't manage to make it happen. Huns. Let's find the rain up at the start of the run out of time. 
still three members left alive. Hun's now going to fall. The Solo and Parry just being able to sit inside of the spike site, sit inside of this poison cloud. Yeah, it's just going to be too powerful for, up, for them. So Dubu with 10 HP will go ahead and retreat. Be the last one left standing. And it's new turn. Now, oh, for sure. Dashing in. Oh, wow. He is just not going to be fast enough on the draw. He's going to get that kill, but 10 X, yeah, knowing exactly where he's going to be, says he can't go anywhere else. He's just going to be stuck in the corner. They get the kill. They have the res. So Solo puts him back into the fight. A site lockdown yet again here for new turn. Oof. Those who finding one, the Bulldog. Well, there goes that Toxic screen, though, to kind of cut him off a bit. Hyunny, though, in between two Toxic screens. Harry's Lurk, though. Oh. This could be absolutely huge, but he needs to strike. He goes in, finds one, gets a little bit of damage onto Huns. Oh, great readjustment. Turns their attention back over towards him. Pushing up, suggests finds Hyunny. Great tracking. A little bit of chip damage onto Solo. Topped up, and Hyunny's the first one to fall. Now Huns gone. Turn looking to make this nine to three. This unit goes for the lurk around the back. Will catch suggest off. See him being hurry. Just on the other side of the box. Bing Su will get 10x. It's a lot of the firepower now gone. But depending on which way Dupa decides to peek this, it could be huge or it could be tragic. He's moving forward, tries to get the hit jump on the parry. Cannot make it happen, but it does deal significant damage to him. Rez now puts Hunts back into the fight. Parry gets scooted up, but Allow is dead. And it's all just on Parry. Can he make it happen? A 1v1 with an HP disadvantage. Hunts. By time. Rotating up top, and yeah, Parry just gonna try to play this one out as patiently as he can. Gets the 4K, and it's 9 to 3. And history repeat itself real quick. Dubu moving up into mid. Blind comes through. Nicely timed. They go on the peak. They managed to find a kill. Hyuni, however, does get the punish. Taking out Suggest. Gets a hit. Wow, looking for the martial shots. Lines up Skuna's oh. head. Lines up Bingsu. Can't quite line up Hyuni as well. But so much damage is done. I was going to say, allows all on his own, but that's all you need. Huns? Nope. So he gets a little help from Hyuni. 10x there. The Devour himself finished the round here. Playing out in mid. Or the Green doors like that, that adaptability in the series still coming through. Allow boosted up on top. So managed to find Hyuni. One back as suggest will be eliminated. Dupu coming in across the zip line with Odin in hand and allow Guns He and Bing Su down before Huns can go ahead and try to equalize. But now he is all on his lonesome and new turn. Looking to move up and lock in at least that OT with a 12th round victory. <laughs> 10x, ah. 10x. Go ahead, get that. These members of uh, DFR here, they're trying to, as well. They're trying to bait him in by faking the spike plant. 10x does fall. Let's suggest he gets two. Oh, he's Bingsu getting behind him. Both can be eliminated now, Hans. It's jumped on. That's going to be the poison cloud dropping. Gunny in a 1v1 versus Parry. The youngin versus the veteran. The gun situation, pretty equal. Cloud Handle gets dropped. Yeah. I mean, he can just sit here. He can wait for this timing. But the push comes in. They pick Icebox, but they do not show up on it. We are back to first strike rules right now, Paper Thin. But if That's going to reveal at least allows position. He takes a takes a bit of damage from it. Now they're going to oh. peek around and gonna get right into hell there. Yanni watching. Oh, what a long range hell. frame. Don't see too much of anything though. But Huns get eliminated. Dubu looking out makes it a bit of a trade back. Solo now going to be dropping. Manages to catch one, presses in. The right click is going to be good for another. Two bullets remaining. Has to go for the reload, and I believe he heard Yanni above him. Wants to at least hold this to half, but Yoni's coming in for the push. Gets it halfway. Yoni can just play time, or he can just kill him. For just a moment. So like a dink through the wall as well, and it's just one of those frustrating moments when you're playing Sky, and you're like, well, I can't heal myself. It's gonna kind of jumping into that spray pattern. Does fall, Hun's taken down to 18 HP. The only person that could have healed him is now oh. dead. Allow drops off heaven. Finds a great headshot, forces the tailwind from Hyuni. And I don't know if Yoni's going to be able to clutch this one. He's been coming up with some huge plays. But this is looking 
pretty done at the moment. Rotation through the spawn. Solo continues to lurk at eight just in case they try to ship that spike in, but 10X shuts down another, tries to line it up, can't make it happen. Suggests he's gonna be waiting in the back of the side. Gets the blind, lines him up, what? He's oh no. looking so oh far no. forward. He does check the side, manages to pivot back over. Gets the that kill. first map just completely <laughs> confused me. Push now coming in, allow, just... Uh, 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 what? what? We what? are not watching the correct POV. He's going for the rifles. And the economy has been, you know, not good, of course, oh. with the way things are. And that's not a good start. Something weird going around that corner. Is it oh. able to get Perry? Dashes right in. Adam misses the right click. Oh, man. Not, oh, not quite sure how he whiffed that one, but got baited in by the low HP of Perry. Does fall solo now. Perfect timing. Picks, peeks out, finds two. 10X will clean up the last one. He's really able to do anything off of it. Perry waiting around the corner. The Owl Drone does not spot him. I was going to say, it doesn't check the side. And Perry is still just sitting here, tries to spray through the smoke, doesn't quite get the kill initially, but then does manage to find it. As Solo just holds down the entrance, tries to swap to the Classic. Cannot get it done. He cannot clutch it here for his squad, but it doesn't matter because 10X and the Star Trailblazer to match. Spamming through the wall, trying to get that hit on the parry. Quite a bit of damage now coming in. Allow with the knives out, finds Dubu. Kenny, through the parry. That's only one member displaced and out of the sight. Skuna falling. To the back of, and Allow gets the opening pick on Skuna. I mean, everything right now going new turns way. And I mean, yeah, Bing Su's screwed. He, I mean, he gets spotted. Now you can start spraying through, play yeah. pin the tail on the donkey. I like to think that 10X is sitting there just spraying through the wall, and he's just like, how do you like it? <laughs> After all of the trouble that they <laughs> that those Odins <laughs> caused them on find. Huns with a really nice shot, does get the elimination on a solo. Gun's annoying, right? Ooh, Huns though. Takes okay. down Perry as well, so Huns kind of- Tail wind off screen. 10X drops down. Looking for Dubu. Gets that kill. Honey just completely gated off right now. And Hunts is really the only one that has line of sight on this spike. And he needs to stop this diffuse from coming in. Hyunny will get suggest. Hunts finishes off 10x. They're running out of time, but they're going to be sticking to it. But Hyunny pushes out, gets the kill on to How good that is, because of how fast they were able to do that. And then that Hunter's Fury at the end to lock it down. Suggest! suggest. Oh, oh my oh. god, he gets a third. Do we see a fourth? Right in the corner is Hyunny, but Suggest turns his back, and now Hyunny tries to turn this around. He Whoa! gets three himself with a blade storm. Sees the operator, can't quite line it up on the solo. Feel it from both players. I feel like maybe Hyunny was gonna be able to get that ace clutch, but it does not happen. Now Huns alone on the sights, creeping his way over into hell. Is this going to be, what is gonna be new turn to options? They don't have a ton of utility. And that's where one's at, plays around that line of sight from Alao. Solo just taking a couple shots and drops down. Hunts finds the shot and he's got the clutch. There's a little bit rough. He's got the cover, however. Help get him out, but he still does get tagged up by that shock dart, so it's down to half HP. Well, I tell you what, I'm having a lot of fun in these last couple rounds. Solo, uh, this time Dubu's gonna wall bang him with that Odin. Now Dubu's back on that Odin. <laughs> They're just trading. Uh, through, the, through the walls. Let's see, all right, Spike is down. I think there's a lockdown here as well for yep. Bingsu. Solo's dead, so we can't use his. Hunter's so. Fury just cleans it up, though, as, as anticipated. So it's just going to be that ult for ult trade. Perry finding Huns, lurking his way up around in the boiler now. Just find Bingsu through the floor, but Dubu just holding firm here with the Odin. He's going to try to back him up, Perry. Makes his way in onto the site. Skuna yet Ooh. again here, but will fall. Parry cleans that up. Now new turn, looking for this eight to f you know this eight, uh, nine to three finish rather than eight. Okay, <laughs> are they? I think they did that on purpose. I think they're taking the door out early. All right. Well, either way, that is gone. But so is Huns. Shot firm suggest so they start making their way forward. Just kind of blinding Solo for a moment, but the lockdown will come in. And obviously Huns out of the fight, but didn't have the Hunter's Fury either. 10x, nice wrap around. He knows that Bingsu likes to try to get in behind. Gets that punish. Now catches Skuna as well as he tries to exit out of the main. But Hyunny parked up in heaven, finds two. But is that going to be enough? It's just Dubu by himself. He might have the Odin, but they are trying to spray through and shut him down. And Perry does find it. Nine to three on the half for kind of heavy investment here from Newturn. They want to get this over oh. with. And yeah, Allow leading the way. Paranoid is a little bit too late there. Dubu was trying to pull back to the site to keep himself safe so he cannot save his teammate and suggest. Collapses in onto the Omen. Broken open now. 
New turn, look to just lock in this 11th round victory. Smoke coming up, but yeah, I mean, just, you got a Spectre, so the Scourge is spray. Great snapshot from Hyuni. Now has a gun in his hands, and suddenly, like, given how no, he's been playing, I'm back like, off. it's clutchable! There's no way I'm pushing him around this corner. I'm just waiting this out. There's literally no way, unless you've got all the confidence in the world here. Whoa. Okay. All right, well, well that now is... Now all four members of New Turn kind of angling themselves here towards A, and they are going to indeed dash in. Flash oh, is the blind good. is absolutely massive from Suggest. Bows down two. Seekers now instantly invested. Stuck over at the door. Let me... One in heaven, one just below. Other on site. Dubu does manage to come out on top of one little exchange. Now it's just all going to be on 10x. He's so very low HP, but the time is ticking away. Got the ice box, but he comes up clutch here in this the round. Bot on to allow, so he's got to be careful. Door's going to be shut right away in response by DFR. They'll break it out, break it down though, and spraying through. This time with the Ares is Huns. Finds a kill, but allows straight in to the site. Now draft dash. It's that kill with a right click. In a 4v2, this is not looking great, especially when you approach this. You don't have your gun drawn out, but it's still... Catch much there with that guiding light. Nano Swarm. Uh, going to be used to buy a little bit more time, oh. and there's a Lao again with the knives. One more to go. Right click misses. Yanni takes him down, but... As the, oh, Yanni takes another one here. He wants to dash in. I don't think he has enough time on the clock, but he can maybe get the finish. He gets the kill onto Solo. Going to grab the gun and run. He makes it out, too. Wow. Being Sue. In a very rough position now. Just, they can't break this. Yeah. TP out has to be used. And Dubu, he tries to snap back in to be a little bit cheeky, but Solo gets himself into boats fast enough. They find the kill. Now already a member down. 4 HP on Bingsu has to get top back up. As they slow down the play. Shot goes flying in. Solo get knocked down at 55 HP, but that's not good enough for the kill. Yoni now gone. That's the Blade Storm out of it. It seems like new turn. They very well just be able to close this right here. So he just keeps offering up blinds out from B main. Perry looking on the steps. And that's just going to be it. They mow them with a vengeance. 13-4 on Icebox, 13-4 on Ascent. Making a bit of a statement. But so